Hello folks, hope all is well with you guys. This is Technana here, bringing you a, uh, a video, a first time video posting here. This is of a uh, disassembly and reassembly of a Smith & Wesson MMP9. This is your standard uh, MMP. Um, nice firearm um, but this is your basic uh, field strip so that you can inspect clean and lube and reassemble this won't be a cleaning video it's just basically a, uh, a basic field strip down to four components and then um, and then a reassembly all right so let's get to it one of the first things you want to do, of course, is you want to make sure that um, that your firearm is clear. So you want to safety check it. All right. So the first things you want to want to do here is uh, uh, again, this is a a, a basic video, so this is uh, directed more towards those who are new gun owners, unfamiliar with um, this particular handgun the Smith & Wesson MMP9 so we're just gonna go through the basics later on I'll um, give you another video of uh, the disassembly uh, the cleaning process the lubing process and the reassembly and also um, if you want we can do one that's a total tear down total breakdown when we break down all the components the um, trigger assembly and whatnot inside but let's get to it all right first and foremost um, you gotta make sure you do a safety check and, and the gun is clear so this is the magazine release you want to press the magazine release and make sure you remove your magazine all right there's no ammo in there set that aside you want to go back, look inside, or right here is your slide lock. Alright, you want to get this slide to the rear. When you get this notch aligned over here with the slide lock, I'll show you here. See? That locks your slide to the rear. All right, from here, you want to take this lever and you want to uh, slide this lever lower to the bottom, like such. Um, the, the spring feel, the spring for armory has uh, the XDMs and a few of their firearms. Their lever has, um, it goes in the opposite direction because I know I have a compact XDM and I remember it the lever take down lever um goes upward instead of down <clears throat> and then on the glocks is totally different you got little tabs right here on both sides that you grab a hold of and you slide the slide to the rear and pull the lever and then forward but here we are all right uh you got Let's back to this, this stuff. Let's, uh, we're back to, um, we got the lever down. Now you want to release the slide. All right. And then going to completely go. You want to uh, then pull on the trigger. And voila. This is the lower. Here's the slide. Here's the guide rod. The guide rod is going to have a little tension on there on this spring. All right. So you just want to depress it just a little bit. And then you remove it. All right. Set it aside. Here you have the barrel. All right. Just giving you a visual here. 
this is the motion of how the barrel goes if you had the slide on here say for instance you had this piece inside there and you had this barrel right here like such and once you pull the trigger the slide is going to come to the rear like such maybe that's that much but you understand and then it goes back forward as it goes back forward you see the barrel locks itself back in there into position so there's some movement going on there this becomes a, uh, a point of lubrication on here on the barrel and on the inside of the slide but let's remove the barrel and here's the slide so here are your four components to do your basic field strip from here you can inspect your components the guide rider isn't much to do just to make sure you take a look at it there's no um, sign of uh, well it's gonna be some wear but it's not gonna be any tear if you see any cracks or whatever any suspicious you want to replace it and here you take a look at the barrel you want to look inside make sure everything's all right this one I believe might need some cleaning Oh, it hasn't been cleaned in a while. It hasn't been to the range either, so. But, we're going to get ready to do a quick clean. I'll do a video so that you guys can see the cleaning process and the lubrication process and all the different points of the lubricating. Because this looks like it needs a little bit of lube. It's a little dry there. And then you got the slide. Here, you have different areas on the slide. There's a slide rails here. You want to make sure that's clean. If any carbon buildup, clean and lubed, or all this internal, clean and lubed. You can spray all these areas if you want. There's times that I use, um, I have a few different things. I have a um, ballast doll that I use. Um, and I have a, have a couple other ingredients around here somewhere. But uh, you clean all this area. You don't want to spray into this area. This area is uh, your firing pin mechanism is all inside there. And there's some springs. And, and this is your safety plunger here. So all this area, you don't want to be spraying lubrication and a whole bunch of stuff that stays clean and dry. Other than the external, you might want to apply some grease in certain key points. Uh, other than that. You don't want to be spraying anything inside there every once in a while. You want to take that apart. That comes out this way. But that will be on another video where we'll show you how to do an extensive uh, tear down. Complete tear down. Complete tear down involves all removing these pins. All this will be removed so that you can get your uh, trigger, me trigger mechanism and all your block and everything and then all the internals inside. And you can give this a real thorough cleaning and polishing if you like. Um, I know on my Glock, I got a Glock 30 floor. The, the Glock 34, I can show you a video on uh, the, uh, the disassembly and reassembly of the Glock as well. They're all similar as far as the Glock family goes taking it down but there you go the four pieces and let's put her back together first we go up here with the uh, the slide like I mentioned before everything you just put it right back in reverse slide the barrel back in just make sure you know she's locked back into position and here I'm not sure if you can see there's a little curve here so that when you place this guide rod inside like such this metal piece is gonna sit right in that curve so place this down guide rod in there and let's just squeeze that spring in there like such am I right She's pretty much assembled now. Everything is fine. Let 
line up your rails line them up all the way to the rear see already try to lock up on me but like it all, all the way to the back lock it again take the lever it's got spring tension on it so a little touch locks it right back into place and then let's just check his functions seems to be okay let's pull the trigger make sure you're pointing in a safe direction She seems to be okay. Grab a magazine. Magazine's inside just fine. You're going to pull the slide back as you lock to the rear with the magazine inside. Only because there's no ammo. No ammo. Everything seems to be functioning just fine and dandy. And there you are, folks. You got yourself a Smith & Wesson MMP9 disassembly and reassembly. Um, if you'd like, I can show you how to, uh, on the next video, the cleaning process with the basic field strip. And also, uh, let me know. I can give you a total breakdown. Um, of the firearm down to the trigger we could take down the slide take the safety plunger and the uh, trigger assembly I mean the trigger assembly is on the lower but the uh, the firing pin assembly and whatnot take that apart and give it a nice thorough cleaning or we just give yourself a, a video of a, a regular field strip cleaning you know what your standard cleaning when you come back from the range after shooting you know a uh, hundred rounds uh, couple hundred rounds um, and there you go folks uh, I wanted to show you because this one is my this is my wife's firearm this is her personal protection firearm and uh, I'll give you another idea because I have a Smith & Wesson M&P9 myself this one is the uh, M&P9 L from the performance center this baby as you can see is a little longer give you a little comparison a little size comparison hope you can see that pretty much almost the same with the exception of a few things you know it's from the performance center so it's got a little a little couple of bells and whistles on here. It's got the core system where you can uh, take this plate off and put a red dot um, optic on there. And stainless steel barrel, ported slide, and the barrel itself, if you can see inside there, is ported as well. Um, I did some stippling on this bad boy. And I did stippling here. Stippling in the front. I already like the 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 stock grip the way it is um, and I also replaced the uh, the trigger so this involved uh, a total breakdown the uh, the sights are stock they're the tall sights so that you can use um, the red dot there um, there were three dots white dots but I took the rears I don't like the uh, any colored dots in the rear I just line it up but I don't like no colors my focus I want my focus mainly on the front on the front sight but this is my baby I like it um, I bought it mainly for the purpose of uh, doing some tournament shooting reason for it being long uh, my first one was a Glock 34 but I'm liking the way this one is shooting now all right, sorry that I got carried away. Just wanted to show you another difference of uh, of uh, two MMPs, MMP9s. Uh, the next video, I mean, you can comment down below if you want. Let me know if you want to uh, do 
uh, break down and disassembly again of this firearm and do a thorough cleaning or if you want me to switch it up into a Glock I have a Glock 34 that I need to take apart and, and inspect myself um, we could do that one as well or both whichever one all right um, the one thing about this channel is this is not just gonna be a, uh, a, a gun related channel um, it's going to be a variety of things because I'm a, you know, I'm a person of uh, many hobbies. And with these trying times, this day and age, um, I figure what the heck. I've watched enough videos online during this uh, lockdown period. And um, I figure let me uh, participate and share some of my knowledge. Even if it's just basic stuff for those who are just getting into it. Um, the channel, like I said, is not just related to just firearms. It's, it can be uh, uh, anywhere from going fishing, surf fishing, camping, um, contracting work. I'm a contractor by trade. I've uh, been doing that for the past 20 years or more. I'm not sure. But um, like I have some videos um, of some of my contracting work as well. Um, Woodworking, carpentry, graphic design, t-shirt designs, you name it, golfing, compound bow, shooting, of course, my favorite, even motorcycling. So, stay tuned if you like this video um, of the, if you like the, the disassembly and reassembly of this M&P 9. Please uh, like down below. Give me a like, like, like. And a, um, subscribe if you want. So we can um, get rolling on some of these future videos. Alright. You guys uh, be safe and peace. Oh, and don't forget. Um, I put a link of this MMP9. Straight from uh, Smith & Wesson's uh, website. And um, my other one, the, the long one, the Performance Center one, um, I'll put that on there as well. Also, don't forget to, um, you know, check the website out, technana.com. It's under construction, so it's in the preliminary phases. But for more information, um, there'll be DIYs and how-tos and other things in that website too. All right? Peace.